When I was 19, my father passed away from esophageal cancer. It completely shook my world. And for a 19-year-old who hadn't experienced death yet, I didn't really know what to do. And so my dad always said that if he hadn't been a pastor, he probably would have been a trucker. And that's because he loved driving so much. We did family road trips as a kid. And so soon after he passed, I got in his car, smelling of his pipe and his sunflower seeds and with his atlas on the seat next to me, and I took a road trip. And it was such a healing experience for me, a way to grieve and to process death, that I took another road trip the next year and the next year after that. And every year since age 19, I've done one road trip to honor both him and the love he had for driving and the road, but also this lesson that I learned and that was confirmed as I did those road trips and, meet, and met people much older and wiser than I was. That lesson confirmed for me was that life is not infinite. And that was a lesson that many of my peers I found did not know. We all thought we were invincible. And so throughout my 20s, I thought, maybe there's something I can do to share this message I learned the hard way so other people don't have to learn it the same way. And I made it a goal that when I turned 30, I would do something crazy, something crazy to share that idea. About 14 months ago, I took all of my life and I moved it into a white windowless cargo van down by the river and set forth on a goal, a three-year road trip to become the youngest person to visit all 417 U.S. National Park Service sites so that I could do something that would help me share this message with people who might not hear about it otherwise. And I've been fortunate in that because of the world record of being the youngest person, the media has come along and I've done about 350 interviews in the past year, everything from Nebraska to New Zealand. And it's allowed me to share this message that I was hoping to about appreciating time and people while we have it. But something else happened on this journey for me as well.